You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. It seems that things are once again moving faster than anticipated with alternative energy technology. Wind and solar power are great, but the main issue with these forms of power generation was storing energy for later use, until now. Tesla Energy and Elon Musk have been making headlines in recent weeks due to pulling off feats that many analysts thought would be years away. In this video, we'll take a look at what's been going on. In early March, Tesla Energy turned on the switch for a huge solar farm and energy storage facility that will help power the Hawaiian island of Kauai. In Hawaii, the electric car maker Tesla is powering up its plans for energy storage. In fact, its industrial battery packs are now helping a utility in Hawaii generate enough electricity for an entire island. We're able to show that we can directly absorb solar power throughout the day into these batteries and then discharge it back at night um, and stabilize it even though we might have clouds coming over or even though it might not line up directly with when people want to use the energy. This can solve that problem. For those of you who are into your facts, the Kauai Island is where the Lilo and Stitch movies took place and is also featured in over 70 Hollywood films. Anyway, Tesla's farm is the first utility scale solar energy system in the United States that can meet electricity demand even at night. It's one of the biggest battery systems on the planet. The project has 55,000 solar panels and 272 Tesla power packs. These can provide 52 megawatt hours of storage and will provide 13 megawatts of power for the grid. So why Hawaii? Apart from being a sunny location, Hawaii has no pipelines running to it. So to get power, currently barrels of fuel have to be shipped in. This makes oil expensive for the island. The idea is that with solar and battery storage, they would have to ship in less oil, meaning that they save money. The company in charge of the island's energy utilities will purchase power from Tesla's farm at a set cost of 13.9 cents per kilowatt hour. This is less than the current cost of oil for Hawaii. Tesla Energy isn't just starting work in Hawaii though. In Southern California, 396 Tesla batteries have been installed to suck up excess electricity from the grid during the day and feed it back into the grid as needed, especially at night. We use batteries to charge our phones, flashlights, and run all kinds of electronic gadgets, right? But how about powering up your home? These large white boxes don't look like much, but Southern California Edison says they could change the way homeowners get their energy in the future. It's technology that wasn't there before, and we're now ready to deploy it where it's needed, locations where it works. The Tesla battery system, which can power 1,500 homes for more than four hours, was actually part of an emergency response. The emergency arose because it was projected that California would have energy shortages due to a leak at a natural gas storage facility. In California, aging nuclear plants are being closed or phased out, putting even more pressure on utilities to find other ways to feed the grid. Utility executives say that energy storage is the natural solution. The California battery plant came online in late January. So this event may not seem like much to many people out there, but this feat serves as a powerful precedent. It shows that utilities can actually use battery systems to replace conventional power plants. This recent progress has even taken seasoned professionals by complete surprise. Michael J. Picker, president of the California Public Utilities Commission, in response to the Tesla system states, quote, I had relatively limited expectations for the battery industry before 2020. I thought that it would not really accelerate and begin to penetrate the electric grid or transportation world for a while to come. Once again, technology is clearly moving faster than we can regulate." End quote. The whole battery system was manufactured by Tesla, shipped, installed, and ready for operation in three months. All the batteries, cooling, safety systems, and other equipment are packed inside the casings, ready to load onto delivery trucks. It's almost a plug and play system. The lithium battery packs come from Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. The factory is able to fit 100 Boeing 747s and is one of the biggest buildings on earth. The Gigafactory will soon also make Tesla Energy the single biggest battery manufacturer on earth. The large economy of scale makes all the difference here. It's the reason why this kind of thing can be done now and hasn't been done before. 
Many would argue that producing all of these batteries is damaging to the environment, but of course, this issue has already been taken into consideration. The batteries are recycled by Tesla once they've been decommissioned. Right now, new batteries are built from raw materials that come in via rail straight into the factory for optimum efficiency and minimal waste. In other words, it's pretty much a closed manufacturing system, the mother of all vertical integration structures. Another cool thing about the Tesla power packs is that they're extremely scalable. So you could buy one to power your business or hook up a few hundred to run an island or even a state. Tesla Energy will expand operations into other areas of California, America and even overseas. One such place that's being proposed is South Australia. So why South Australia? Well, in September 2016, South Australia suffered a statewide blackout as infrastructure was damaged during a storm. Good evening. The cause of a blackout, which plunged more than 100,000 South Australian homes and businesses into darkness, remains a mystery. Night suddenly becoming even darker. At 10.30 last night, 110,000 homes and businesses were blacked out until the early hours. Traffic lights dangerously dimmed. From above, we were a city divided in two. Well, we thought it was just us, but then we looked at the street and even the shopping centre, everything was gone. We're not sure, exactly sure. We know, how, we know what happened, we're just not sure why. 150 megawatts of power was being supplied from Victoria last night. Concerns now just how much of an impact the loss of Port Augusta's Alinta power station will have when it closes by March. Recently, there was another blackout due to a heat wave because there wasn't enough power to meet demand. Elon Musk proposed that he could fix South Australia's power issues by installing an 80 megawatt hour power pack like he did in Southern California. The deal is as follows. The energy problem will be solved with a Tesla battery system within 100 days. If this doesn't happen, South Australia gets the system for free. Musk himself has a big vision for stationary energy storage. He states that, quote, it's something I think will probably be as big as the car business long term. It will actually have a growth rate probably several times that of what the car business is per year. The growth in stationary storage is really underappreciated. It's a super exponential growth rate. End quote. Okay, so this all sounds well and good, but before we get too carried away, there are still some important questions that need to be answered. For example, how much exactly do these systems cost? No direct figures have been given. That being said, whatever the cost is, it should reduce over time as production ramps up. Secondly, what is the ultimate life of the battery packs in real-world scenarios? Again, we're not sure. In conclusion, environmentally sustainable battery systems like Tesla's power packs are a great solution to solve the intermittent nature of solar and wind energy. Although it may be still a little early to tell, this concept does seem promising. Storing excess power and delivering it when needed will become an integral part of the world's shift to renewable energy. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video on some of the cutting edge stuff that's going on with Tesla energy from around the world. In a general way, things really seem to be moving and it's pretty cool to live in a time where great shifts in the status quo can be so clearly witnessed. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you just stumbled across it. This has been Dagogo, you've been watching Cold Fusion and I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Cheers guys, have a good one. Cold fusion, it's new thinking.